So, hey guys, Chauzo here. And yeah, this is my NAV 200 playthrough of Treasure Map Pudding. This has been a quite annoying treasure map, obviously. So, uh, I'm pretty happy it's over. Let's put it that way. So yeah, but yeah, I did less rounds than usual still. 200. So, it's still an average of 50 per day, so that's still an effort put in, but less than usual, so I don't feel as burned out, even if these 10 last runs were at my limits, I should probably say. And yeah, it was just pretty annoying to build for, especially the boss, with me up being so important and I couldn't bother making a team around finding a friend Mihawk. But yeah, let's start with the intrusion and I could run uh, Big Mom Frank Captain for quite a while, but I moved to Double Law now. And yeah, the team is pretty straightforward. Like, you can debate the Shanks. The best thing about him is that he makes the second stage easier and faster, while he doesn't contribute as much on stage 3, since he doesn't boost the Big Mom. But yeah, on this stage I just used three specials, don't even use super type because it doesn't really add any meaningful damage. Press para for the all block. The free to play Custard that JP has have been really nice this treasure map. She has a support to lock in orbs. So yeah. But yeah, more here for more, more Emperona from the death down and death reduction damage up. Big mouse special for chain lock and she has Sengoku support for the attack boost. One of the annoying parts of this treasure map is finding attack boosters like of the higher boosters it's only Mihawk and even among the lower boosters there not, there's not many attack boosters. At least with a good CD. So... Yeah, I think only one of my teams has an attack booster. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is probably the first treasure map where I never had to forfeit. I had to gem a few times, but uh, one gem here and there, I'm fine with that. As long as I don't have to spend like five gems on Rise in one battle. So yeah, that's the classic bonus map troll getting a 5 when you're in that position so you skip like one fourth of the whole bonus map stage. But yeah, like I was still feeling a bit relief here because I was like, please don't make me gem again because I'm recording so if I run out of stamina I have to gem because I want to finish the video. Very happy with the treasure map ticket by the way. So I was like, okay, I just need to hit not two once, and we're good, and I hit the one, okay, I, I'm like, one more. So yeah, I have to get, which means I'll be playing a bit more after this recording, but it's fine. Next time I run out, I run out of stamina, I'm done. So yeah, let's get to the boss rush. And yeah, my radio team is mostly unchanged. I ran with NL as long as I could. And then when his damage wasn't enough, I switched to Raid Big Mom. And when the, the HP got too... Damage wasn't enough, I uh, swapped to the Marine Ship. And yeah, it's still working, so yeah, this is very fast. Like, Trash and mini bosses are getting harder and harder, but I appreciate that at least one mini boss is free. So you can just speedrun it very fast. And yeah, if Sora was a higher booster, I'd probably run him as captain. Since he's a bit faster than the Luffy, but since he isn't a big booster, 
It would be harder to find frame captains, so it's not worth it. But yeah, that this very big mom is a godlike treasure map unit for stages like this. Even when she isn't boosted. So yeah, people often ask me about like points versus speed and speed is definitely my top priority, but you can never ignore points. Like if you get lower points, you have to like really rationalize it. So I try and avoid 1.1 boosters or lower, optimal and run as many 1.35 times as possible. But if uh, 1.2 times booster speeds up a lot, then I'm using them without a second thought. Like in this team, we have several 1.2 times boosters. We're running two of them just for para removing support. Like, I wouldn't say para removing support is faster, especially not when you use two of them instead of one. But it's less special so you have to use and... Yeah, that's the one thing that can burn me out is how many specials I have to use. So now it's basically three I use. If I had to remove para two, it would have been four, and I really don't want to go past three. So, but yeah, most teams use more Prona here for good reason. But I decided to go with Shanks here since initially I was using uh, more Prona for the boss. But Shanks is a good job. His super type says so steps to zero. His special is a lot of buffs, and then we have Ray Carrot for an attack buff. So yeah, this team has worked fine, I'm happy with it. So yeah, we move on to the next boss, and this has gone through a few revisions. I'm using Morian Prone as captain now. Initially this was uh, Crocodile, Halloween Crocodile as captain. But once I was done with... Yeah, eventually I had to remove Morian Prone from my boss team. So I could put them back into another team and this was my worst team. So I wanted to put them here for some more damage. And they're also higher boosted than Croc, so it fit nicely. But yeah, I usually don't use end of turn damage, but at least this kit is pretty nice since you just use it once. And it's pretty fast, so yeah, I'm fine with it. He also reduces CD, but it doesn't really matter for this team. But yeah, this, the, the idea of this team is simple. Uh, more in prone, remove the para, does the death down conditional. We have Croc to remove all the debuffs and give color affinity. And then Kisaro gives full board of matching orbs and orb boost. And then Akaino support for the chain lock. Like I always say, this Colosseum Kisaro is one of the most underrated units in the game. He's legit a busted unit. He's way too good for a free to play unit, in my opinion. Especially thanks to the Akaino support, like that support is it's so good. But yeah, let's move on to the most annoying mini boss I feel, because there's just not many good options. You're kind of led into using Nami Sanji as captain, which works. It's a bit annoying since there are duo units. But what real but yeah, you all know this stage. It's just so dumb with uh, uh, remove SFX for 99 turns. They really want you to use that Fortnite Weavey, but I'm not gonna use a special just to remo remove SFX. So, yeah, I solved that by using Kung Fu Luffy support instead. Easier perfects. And then I've just spent 200 nubs practicing hitting perfects with these units. So yeah, Namesanji does the ore boost, Rebecca does the color affinity, and she also has Kuro support for an attack boost for herself. And then we have Page 1, who is just a high point booster, 
Does you can use something like Enel as well, the Rumble one, but yeah, page one is higher points, so I used it. Someone has to start the chain anyway. So yeah, I set it up so that I get full board of matching orbs. See, so yeah, I've only recently started using both Nami Sanji special, and it's just to make the damage a bit safer, like sometimes I hit the grate or something. So the next uh, extra captain ability is nice. But yeah, it felt kind of weird using a duo unit as a captain against a boss. That's I'm not done that for a long time. It's like half a year now, maybe I think. I used Sanji Sora as captain for some treasure map. Okay, but now for the boss, I've gone through so many revisions for this. I could ignore the damage reduction for like 150 nubs or something, then I couldn't bother anymore. So I had to fit the damage reduction reducer, it ended up being Sam Robin. She worked out perfectly. Like the treasure map radio is better, but 1.1 times points booster. Like at this point, I didn't really care about points that much, but you still want as much as you can. Like I didn't want to get careless and end up like 21. Not that I think I'll get close to that. I've been like between 13 and 16 for over two days, basically. Yeah, for this stage we have Chief on and the Law, and we have three Berry Pens, we just hit for them. But it's just on this team for the Berry Pen and also for the Law Super Type, just for some extra damage. And yeah, we're just ignoring the parry here. Nami for some affinity, Log Luffy just for beneficial orb for the whole team, since Robin has to give her orb to everyone. And then Trash Map Big One, Big Mom, who has Sengoku again, and yeah. This still this does well enough damage. If I had did 50 more navs, I'd probably have to change it up a bit, but yeah, it was fine for this stage. So yeah, this was my teams. I, I ended up being pretty happy with them. I was not that happy with many teams in the beginning, but uh, it always works out, like, I want to have a solid start, and then I tweak things myself as I go on. But except for the main boss, I didn't tweak as much as usual, so pretty happy with that. But yeah, thanks for watching, hope you had a good treasure map, see you next time.